and Nina and I are up to the uh, Chandlery Alley to get some parts for our toilet, for our heads and some other bits and pieces that we've been missing and it's a huge place so we're joining up with Imagine to uh, go shopping. I suggested it. Should you have both hands free? No, I'm good. Oh, my harness. No, it's fine, Mum. They're doing all the work. Hey? They're doing all the work. I don't need to worry. Pop it all the way out. Yeah. So you're gonna push down gently on the top. Oh, what is it? 
Yeah, stop pulling in the red. Yeah, and just taking some photos. Okay. Now. Look who's coming down again. Oh, look, yeah, that's cool. Just make sure the red line's free, eh? Halfway to the second set of spreaders. Is that red line's coming down a lot? Yep. Yeah. Well done, buddy! You're so brave! So, Papa, what are you doing? Right, well, two things. Um, we had some diesel bug, so um, it's kind of uh, important that we check that it's not in our diesel tank. This is our diesel tank under Luca's bed. Um, another thing is that we have a very economical engine, but the fuel gauge up on the cockpit hasn't been moving lately so I just want to check that it's not the diesel level sensor that's an issue it's just that we're not using much diesel so I'm going to have a look in here and hopefully see what the problem is so we'll take off the so you think there might be a bit of diesel bug in there maybe maybe so we'll take off the sensor wires Lift it out. Sort of wiggling about, I managed to take out the sensor and out comes the float. This is our, there's a bit of Lucy here on there, which is probably not ideal for the sensor. So that's the bit that protects the level and it looks all nice and clean. You can just see diesel. So I've got no idea if there's any bug in there. Right, so we're just going to use a broom handle that Nina found in the, where'd you find it? In the locker, but we found it at a beach at this a beach. way. And we're going to do a manual test of how deep, how much fuel's in the tank. So, I think our fuel gauge is about right. That's, that's the top, that would be absolutely, I don't even think it would go that full, so. We still have a lot of diesel on the fuel gauges, looking good. So. Thanks to the cruiser's chandlery, we've cut out a brand new washer. There's the old one, here's our new one. So that goes on there, up there, and this is our this is our sender. This is the thing that measures. And it's all pretty good. So it's this is the thing that measures how much diesel we have left in the tank so we're just gently putting that on now we've got to remember that we want this to position this way because that's the center of the tank we don't want it to go that way so we're gonna this is a bit of a trick i think that's floating happily it goes down there Follow me, we will go and test it. So. Perfect. Yay. Where are we off to, Nina? We are off to the beach to collect some plastic. What are we going to do, bud? Why are we doing this? Oh, I don't know, I just thought maybe turtles dying. Yeah, there's turtles in the bay, aren't there? and they probably end up eating some of that plastic but unfortunately this bay it is open to the prevailing wind and right in the distance is Marmaris 
and the wind comes from there and looks like most of their rubbish that sits on the sea floats down to this bay and we noticed along with our boating neighbours Mark and Marie that there's a whole pile of rubbish on the beach and we like beaches and we don't like rubbish so we're going to go and tidy it up. False teeth, how's it going? You got a bag full yet? No, almost halfway though. Plastic straws, what else have you been collecting? Oh, plastic bottles. Plastic, plastic cups. bottles, cups. We found a lot of cups. Yeah, heaps and plastic forks and knives. Yeah. How could humans let this happen? This is just so crap. We've had a visit from a few locals, a couple of locals, and our fellow cruisers, um, Mark and Marie, they've been going hard out, and this horrible, horrible little beach is now looking a lot less horrible. Turns out a lot of the rubbish is from uh, people actually just picnicking and not giving a toss. It's just horrible. And sadly, this is probably not a bad example of a beach, you know? Across the world, there's whole oceans of rubbish. But this can't go on. This absolutely cannot go on. People need to get their act together and start looking after it. This is this is this is so upsetting, really. And you know what we've done is just a little token. But you can see uh, we haven't invited at all. But we've got as much as we can. It's a bag, but rubbish bag, rubbish bag, rubbish bag, and this is microplastics too, the stuff that's going into turtles stomachs and the turtle died apparently the other day here. So sad. This beautiful bay and a beautiful beach and it's wetland, it's like really sensitive and people just don't care. You know. So heartbreaking. But anyway, we've done <laughs> our bit to tidy up a place we enjoy. So, um, and we'll continue to do this. It feels good. It's not a very big thing in the scheme of things, but it's, uh, it's the least we could do. empty. <laughs> yeah. Just when you get on top of things, when you think you're on top of things with boat work, there's things that every day break and change. And sometimes I think, what are the odds of that happening twice? And why does it always happen to us? Well, it turns out that uh, they don't happen just to us and they happen more than twice so I looked for a um, solution to our door latch problem and online I see a German video of a young uh, guy fixing his door latches for the eighth time sounds like bad um, design but anyway I think I know how to fix it so these are the door latches that have got problems. And 
that is the culprit. It should have a loop on each end. And that simple thing is the thing that breaks and lets down the boat. Here's the one that fell apart in my hand, which I'd written off, but I'm going to now try and repair it because I still have quite a few of the parts, hopefully all of the parts. And two broken springs. Let's try and fix them. This time. Hooray. 